Welcome back to Professor Layton versus himself, or not really, that was an imposter. Just like himself, who was also an imposter. I'm the voice of Dog, with me is Admiral H. Curtis, or is it? <laughs> I am just an imposter as well. Who knew? I can't believe you would do this to me. Oh, oh another banana puzzle. Give me the advanced banana puzzles, let's do this. Oh, right, these ones. Mm hmm. Alright, so obviously that is already an illegal move. And so is that. And so is up to the right. And so is up. That didn't help. Oh, no, it didn't. You're right. Wait, go back. Go back to left down, like, go back into the bottom right corner. The bottom right corner? You mean, like, where I was before? Mm-hmm. So here. Yeah, and just slip on the left one instead of the right one. Yeah, like that. Even the bits are Don Palo! No! Thank you for the bits, Detective Pyramid. Uh, okay, here we go. It. These are all very simple. Yeah. Phew, that's a relief. <laughs> Don't eat banana peels. All right, thank you, Professor Layton. <laughs> I'd hate to die because I ate too many banana peels. Uh, that's right. There's also picture books. There's also there is also mini games. Maybe we should take a look at a parrot. Oh no, not the parrot. We couldn't figure this out the last time. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> Bruce. It was the coffee one that was that was rough, right? Yeah, the coffee one. I think we also tried the one other one. Let's see. We picked up a few of these. The objective of the parrot is to use the number of ropes. Yeah, uh, we definitely tried this one. Oh, we did try this one. To propel the parrot. By drawing ropes. We have been having trouble with these. Exactly like that. Okay. Nope. He collects Maybe dogs. Maybe the real Don Paolo is the friends we made along the way. Maybe. Thank you for the bits. I am in a loop here. I have, okay, good. Mm -hmm. We finally death. Thank you. Uh, wait, no. What was the beginning of that? Because I feel like I need more data from that. Can't make it up to there from that. How did we get up here? Didn't we find a way to get up there? Yeah, we, we did find some way. I forget. It was real dumb. It was dumb and probably not what the game intended. What? Bird, please. <laughs> Alright, wait, maybe. Like, what if you just do another yeah, like that? Oh, okay. Will this do it? Is there enough time? Maybe. We got 15 seconds. Those are faster than regular seconds. Bruce, hurry up. Bruce, nah, please. I don't think so. I think those are actual seconds. Come on, Bruce. Come on, Bruce. Yes. Yeah. How did we all figure that out? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>
We couldn't get this one either. Yeah. But maybe we just weren't thinking in the right direction. Yeah, we had we had a problem of figuring out an angle to actually get the parrot right. through the through this the opening. Ball. Propel yeah. him through this opening was very difficult, in fact. But it's really important to just test, to just test over and over again. Is learn where the angles are because this was my idea. I remember this, and this did not work. But let's see what it does. Mm. Yeah. Okay. There are not a lot of pegs here. No. Also not a lot of ropes. And you don't get to, like... Oh, you only get three ropes. Yeah. The, the, I, I still have no idea what the point of the ones on top right are. They seem completely useless. Mm-hmm. Oh. Make the, the first platform a horizontal one, like the the upper horizontal one. Yeah. You mean this? And then on the top do a long diagonal. Like this. Something like that. Hmm. That's a no. It's like none of these seem to be particularly useful. He won't hit that. Yeah, the, there's a third option for the diagonal there if you connect, yeah, like that. Does that help? I assume not. Wait a minute. Okay, wait, wait. Uh... Hang on. Can I do the move? Is this how you do it? Hmm. <laughs> Man! Not quite, but good idea. These don't connect. This connects, but he's not gonna hit that. What if you connect, like, a, like a very steep diagonal at the, at the middle, like, uh, the second row. If you make, if you take, like, the, the left peg, the, the left peg, the one we already have, and then the second one is the one at the very bottom. This one. Yeah. Like, the, like to to where? To to like the very top left. The like very where our current rope sits. The the other one. No no no. Uh, up more up. Not that one. Keep the horizontal one. This one. Yeah. What does that do? He'll jump over it. Ah, uh, he will, yeah. Oh, that's mm. a shame. Hmm. I feel like the first move has to be that. Uh, yeah? Nothing else makes any sense to me. He doesn't hit that. He does, but he bounces off into oblivion. This is pointless. Yeah, I don't. Oh wait, what? I am the greatest. Okay. I am fantastic. I just thought maybe, just maybe. All right. 
I swear to God, I didn't, like, look that up. I just, it was just like, eh, maybe. Eh. In seven seconds. Seven seconds, huh? Three ropes. Well, this seems a bit more straightforward than the last one. You'd think so, but seven seconds is like... Okay. And th what, three ropes? Mm-hmm. Ah. This seems plausible. That Unless seems it goes over easy. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, too far. Whoop. Oh, shit! Nice. No, oh, permit is not a thing? I'm sorry. Uh... Uh, sorry, I'm messing with my... Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, I was trying to permit. Do I have a... I don't have a permit thing. I know other chats have a permit thing. I do not have that. I apologize. Uh, I just modded Admiral. If you if you don't mind, if someone PMs it to you, you could just post it in chat. Sure. Yeah, if you have a clip, then you can, you can send it to Admiral. Only when I'm streaming and he's here, though. Don't do that otherwise, please. <laughs> Thank you. Don't don't ask him to post things in chat for you. There was another parrot one, wasn't there? There was one more, yeah. I did. That's that's okay. good for now. Fair enough. We also have toy car. We can get into at some point. Those tend to be pretty lengthy. Those are those are tough. Are you gonna like try and kill us? Like, later in the afternoon? Are you sure you modded me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, I, I saw you. Yeah, there's the clip. Oh, it, it says deleted link for me. Maybe I have to refresh or something. Yeah, I see it. You got a okay. sword. Whatever. <laughs> That's right, you said, oh, this is pointless, right before I did it. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Where is Dimitri hiding? Also, yeah, we should probably go find Flora and Big Luke. A friend sent you an invitation to come and visit. The wording of his letter, however, is a bit odd. Okay. First, knock on a certain door, then knock on the door below and the door below that. Now knock on the door to the right of that one. Finally, knock on the next door to the right. That's my place. Open your friend's door by tapping it. Okay. Let's see here. First, knock on a certain door, then knock on the door below and the door below that. Now knock on the door to the right of that one. No, it has not to be the next door right, to the right. right. Yeah, it has to be the bot this guy. Let's see if I've got this right. Just as I suspected. Why are you telling me to annoy all those people? 
All of these people think there is someone visiting them there. You jerk. <laughs> Everyone in this town is a researcher. Weird. I solved your parrot problem. Eventually. Now, now you have other problems. The lost number. Through the course of his research, Dad discovered a very important number and marked it on a slip of paper. Unfortunately, someone mistook the note for a piece of trash and tore it into pieces. Now Dad's hopping mad and Mom's beside herself. Perhaps you can figure out... That's kind of funny. <laughs> and Mom is really sad now for no, for no related reason. Perhaps. Perhaps you can reform a piece of paper. Uh, can we rotate that, or...? Is no. That already? No, it looks like... Okay. In that case, that shouldn't be so bad. Right. You have another top piece at the bottom there. In the near the bottom left, yeah. Wait, is that a top piece? Uh Ah, I see. Okay, yeah, that's probably it. Fourteen. No, seventy-four. Seventy-four? Seventy-four. Here's my answer. I knew it! We still got that picture book, too. Yeah, and the toy car. I like the toy car. Those are fun. Yeah. They they seem to be tougher on average than some of the other mini games in Layton games. Some of them get very tricky with bridges and such. Mm-hmm. Additional noodles. Oh, this again. Uh, switch the food around so that the bowls of plain noodles and pork noodles alternate, but make sure they all remain evenly spaced. What is the fewest number of moves it takes to accomplish this task? So switching bowls takes two moves. Therefore... Okay, like, this would be... Tri like, it's trivial to just switch two of them. Right. So that's two moves. <clears throat> Is there a way to get less than that? I would assume so, because otherwise... Hmm. Um... Yeah, like... Oops. Like, this is two moves. Yeah. 
And like if you if you from the start move the like the the right mouse too and to just swap them. Yeah, that's two yeah. moves. That's two moves, but that is the like. That's that's, that's the how puzzle. It look. That's that's really the puzzle. Is is that the answer? Yeah. Can we do less than that? Can we do this with one move, which would involve you know, like this is one move. And I don't see that move. I don't see that here. Can honestly. we just take the pork off one of the things and put it in the other pork? Yes, we can. <laughs> of course. <laughs> God that damn. <laughs> Maybe that's even zero. Okay. Phew, that's a relief. <laughs> I don't think I would I would have gotten that. <laughs> but only when the hoot nanny is over does he regret his actions, such as the plight of mankind. <laughs> Four shy couples are depicted below by red and blue symbols. They would all like to meet up with their respective partners for a date without running into anybody else in town, because that would be too much. Oh, no. Draw lines between couples A, A, B, B, C, C, and D, D without crossing any paths. <laughs> this is very great. good. Social anxiety simulator puzzle. As long as I don't need to meet anybody, I'm fine. Shit. I'm already... Oh, no. I already screwed up. If you move the, the A, the, the right most A line one further out, I think that's probably necessary. You mean like this? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Because... Oop. How the hell do we get C then? Yeah, because C has to be like this. Mm-hmm. But then, but then we cut off B. Wait, is this legal? I don't think so. It says without anybody else. Right. Let's start this over. Let's... <laughs> yeah, sure. That's D. Yeah. <clears throat> That's almost certainly D. C can go this way. He could. I don't think that's right. I don't think C... Really? Um, I don't see how we get A out of there now. Like, mm -hmm. Without cutting off B. I wonder what this button does. <laughs> oh, guess I'm here for another month. Thanks for your reset, Paul Potamus. Yeah, I don't... Does C need to go this way? But then it blocks off B. Unless B goes way out of its way. Actually, that might work. Yeah, exactly like that. And then let B and go then to the A right radiates down. around, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was actually simple. This one's as Very convoluted. Soul. No puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. Streamlabs seems to be working today. It was not working yesterday for some people. Good, now we're telling everyone that he's fake. 
let's kill Leighton's future reputation. <laughs> Scientist is gone. Hotel is way back here. This man with the impossible, unfortunate chin. You want to fill up your pool, but all of the valves between the tank and the nozzles are rusted shut. You only have three extra valves to work with. Tap the three valves you will replace to get the water flowing. Okay. So they have to... Let's see. So I have to make it to the pool, basically, in three valves. Mm-hmm. So there's three at the start. We've got top, middle, and bottom. Bottom just leads to a second one right off the bat, and then a third one. So and then a fourth. That's all yeah. that doesn't work. The bottom one is certainly wrong. Yeah. This one might work. Yeah, the middle one sounds... Yeah, middle sounds good. Promising. Hmm. This one's as good as solved. I knew it! I was like, yeah, what kind of hose is that that crosses over itself multiple times? Very weird hose with 12 different valves you need to open. <laughs> New parrot request. Tiny Layton, do you have anything for us? Who designed that thing in the first place? I don't know. Please break my brain. Hey, somebody ate my piece of cake. I was saving that for later. A, huh. I didn't eat it. B, neither A nor D ate it. C, I didn't eat it either. D, C is telling the truth. Somebody isn't telling the truth. Hmm. Who is lying? Last okay. time I saw one of these, I got it real quick, but... C and D cover each other. So yeah. That, you know... Well, it can't be B, really, because... If he's lying, then he ate the cake, and then he contradicts his own... Right? Yeah. Hmm. Give me the super basic hint. Hmm. If A is lying, then B would also be lying. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out a combination that doesn't cause that, but... They I'm all not, kind of... Not really seeing it. Like, if A is lying, then B is also lying. That's wrong. If B is lying, then... Um... Actually, that might work. It can't be D or B, really.
But, I mean, A and C are the same statement, aren't they? I didn't eat it. I didn't eat it either. There's something about this one that really confuses me. That's I would not go it? with B. I would go with B, Guess but back to the board. something about this is really strange. I thought I saw some, like, splotch on her hand, but no, those are diamonds, in fact. She does not have cake on her hand. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I hear you, Chad. Oh. I hear you. They are all valid statements. Phew, that's a relief. I didn't even think about that. It was me. <laughs> Well, I didn't see anyone, like, actually say it, but I was just starting to think. Alright. No, that's backwards. <laughs> oh, there's Kill Me. You got a puzzle for us, Kill Me? A fingerprint was recently discovered at the scene of an unsolved crime. Four prime suspects have been rounded up and brought into the station. Compare the fingers of the suspect A, B, C, and D to the fingerprint shown beneath the magnifying glass and identify the guilty culprit. Huh. Okay, so this is a cute one. Uh-huh. Yeah, it is. And I think I know what they're doing here. It's not C. No, C and D are clearly completely different. Mm -hmm. B, B but, and A both look very similar. Look, look pretty similar, however... I'm just trying to get, trying to figure out which details are closer. Well, it doesn't matter. Think about it. If if B presses his finger on, no, like, it can't be. I know it can't be B part. because it would be in reverse. Yeah, exactly. So it has to be A. I've got yeah. a good feeling about this one. I was just trying to confirm the details. Few things satisfy like a puzzle. Make sure there's not a difference between them, but it seemed like they were roughly the same. It is the dog. All right. I'm gonna rub, grab a drink. How long has Kelmy been on the forest? He should know these things. Okay. Tell me you are not focusing on the right things right now. We found the Prime Minister, by the way. We saw him. You know.
Where is the hotel again? Yeah, left here, not not through this. But like maybe there's a puzzle here. Can you actually read the paper? We tried. <laughs> The four numerical stamps shown below are designed oh, no. to fill in the three blank squares and complete the equation. Only one digit can be used in each square. Alright, just... This seems simpler than the previous one. Um... Okay, I have an idea about this, but... I'm not sure you... yet. Hang on. Uh... Okay, yeah. This. No. No? I don't think you need the one. It's not, you can't make a one plus two equals three? You could, but that's three stamps. But I think you can make it work with two of them. Really? You're right. Here's my answer. No? I, I don't think that actually makes a two. Board. I think you can make a five with that stamp, but not a two. Five only, huh? Uh, do you just want me to say what I think it is? Yeah. It's, it's a bit of a trick. Um, you can do 3 plus 5 is Equals 8. eight. You can make, uh, you can I was make just starting to with, think about that. Yeah. I was thinking we, 10, but I don't have a circle, and I can't make a circle with the... So it would be... Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 3 and 5 are 8. This one's as good as solved. I knew it! These are pretty- those are pretty good, actually. Because the other one was- the other one was pretty good as well. Alright, this is the- oh, there it is. It's over there. The thing is, you can't actually make a two with, with that five stand. Right. Because you'd have to mirror it. If you rotate it, you just end up back at the five. I didn't see any time machines there while we... I looked all over for one. I didn't see anything that looked like a time machine. <laughs> Good. I that that's like an extra wait. Did we have this conversation before? I don't think we I did. I think we, pro we probably could have triggered this earlier. I'm just glad to know that Don Palo always has a thing of pomade. Like yes, my hair was that way because I was spurned and could not handle the emotional strain. But it stays that way because I have the right product. Of course. He's a Dapper Dan man. 
Dan, Don, Dapper Don. That's his, that's his brand, pomade. All right, I bought this beautiful one-of-a-kind fountain pen from a luxury boutique for 10% off the original price of only $3,000. When I showed it to my friend, she took one look and just had to have it. She offered to pay me 10 more than what I'd paid. I love the pen, but I couldn't say no. Overall, how much did I gain or lose by selling the pen to my friend? Oh, uh, so 10% nah. off is just 2700 right? Uh-huh. And then, uh, uh, 10% more than what you paid is 2700 plus 270 right? Yep. So it would just be 30 bucks you, you, you lost. Right? What? No, no. We we bought the thing for two thousand seven hundred. Oh no, no. We made it. We made an extra. We made two hundred and seventy dollars. Yeah. Is what we did. Yeah. Let's see if I've got this right. Few things satisfy like a puzzle solved. Yeah, but what about taxes? Taxes are included in the purchase price in Europe. Okay, thank you for actually having an answer for that. This puzzle makes sense in Europe. <laughs> nice. Yes, Luke. So I really want to see the scene where he walks up to Dean Delmona and it's just like, hey, Don, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> yeah. Why didn't we get to see that in retrospect? Flora, are you real? Are you actually Flora? Is, where is Don Paolo still in our party? No, he left. He said he had to go do some things. Okay. Big Luke is not here either. Something important happened. Whoosh. What's up? Investigation hit a snag. Oh, no. <laughs> No, we have not seen Barton. Okay, good. We're covering for him. <laughs> Flora, this is not an adventure. I no, mean, it's I sort of an adventure. This is not an adventure. Do not consider this an adventure. <laughs>
Ah. That guy, right. Luke? Luke? Oh god, he's missing. Luke has disappeared. We're constantly missing people in this game. It's very hard to keep track of. Did they get kidnapped? Work. Search for small Luke. Wait, was that family member there previously? I think he was. Okay. North. Towards the Thames. <laughs> of course, this, like, ten-year-old boy is way <laughs> smarter than my assistant, who is a career cop. Career investigator. You know. Don't think about that. Oh, that's the casino. The Thames is over this way. Yeah, it's right through a few screens and there then left is. towards the hotel. Still staring at this statue? Isn't he? Isn't Luke his, Luke his nephew? I don't think so. No, they're not related. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I, I thought they were related. But that's coming up. And is this like the last game where it was kind of a Professor Layton and Luke adventure? Uh, chronologically, it's the last game. Yeah. The, the, the three later games are, like, before the first, The Curious Village. Yeah, I have not played any of the others. This was the... or Yeah, I think Miracle Mask. I may have, like, started, but I didn't get very mm -hmm. far. And then, like, the Professor Layton... Uh, the Prof, uh, Phoenix Wright crossover is, like, out of time. Right. Like, it, it doesn't... doesn't really have any sensible... Place yeah. In the universe. Yeah. All right, we're thinking about the scientist, the wet scientist. Yes, it's almost as if these researchers need to think, get around. I don't think Layton even shows up in Lady Layton. Well, he doesn't. He doesn't show up in Layton Brothers. I can tell you that. Yeah. You have. Uh, his descendant, actually. The mystery of the wet scientists.
Okay, which way is the black market? Uh... Is that where the casino is? I'm honestly not sure. That's the clock shop over there. North from the statue? Okay. Yeah, the cursor is pointing rightwards. That's not it. Oh, is it the subway? The, the cursor is pointing at the subway. I don't know if it's necessary to use it, but you know. Oh, I can just go to Chinatown. Is that where I want to go? I don't know. I think it's between I, th I think it's between where I want to go. Yeah, now it's pointing south. So, you know. Here? Okay, this place. I see. I wasn't thinking about that. Is it a boat puzzle? It's a gravity puzzle. All right. <clears throat> Oh, another one of those. The last one was really easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one... Maybe not so much. Mm, this doesn't seem too bad either. Rotate right twice. Just make that... Bingo. I've got a good feeling about this one. Few things satisfy like a puzzle solved. Didn't tell me how many moves it'd take, though. I only got at 17, but I probably had a few extraneous ones. Does no one in this entire town live on the other side of the town? No. Oh, that's good word. Everyone is on one side of the river. All right, take the tunnel, get... Oh, wait, cat. Gotta talk to the cat. Hang on. Good, cat finally has a puzzle for us. I think we had one of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Zero nah, plus one problem. equals dog. <laughs> Zero plus two equals cat. Six plus three equals dog. <laughs> Six plus seven equals dog dog. Seven plus nine equals dog cat. Eleven plus twelve <laughs> equals cat dog. Eleven plus seventeen equals cat cat. Um. What? <laughs> Thank you for the bits later, Wade. If the above is true, then what is the smallest value for question mark? Uh, it might just be that dog is an odd digit and the cat is an even digit. Let's see if that works out. <clears throat> yeah. But no, I don't think that works. Because <laughs> we only have not work? Yeah, because I yeah. I think it's a two digit thing. I think I think these are two-digit answers. Two-digit answers have two names on it, and I think the yeah, 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 no, that but so like, like, 
the word dog represents an odd digit. Yes. And the word cat represents an even digit. Yeah, so I, I went back around to saying, wait, you're actually right. That does work <laughs> out. So one plus... The smallest value for question mark. So dog is an even number. Um, dog is an odd number. Dog is an Zero odd plus number. One is dog. So in other words, um, one ten would be the smallest number. Yeah, I think so. I think the smallest number that gives us dog 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 is one hundred eleven. So we have to add one ten. Here's my answer. Correct. I knew it! <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Cat, wake up. Got a cat sticker. Good job. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's do a car. I'm sure we've got quite a yeah. few. We've got three others here to do. All right. All right, so we've got switches and bridges. Okay, we have to collect all the robots. We've got two jumps. And we have to get towards the red square in the top right, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. These are arranged in such a way that you can't really get easily get from one to the other. Yeah. But let's see. If I um if we start moving upwards, let's just start moving up. start by moving up. Yeah. Because otherwise we have to go back. Or actually, we could do a double jump up there, maybe. But like, that's I feel like the double jump should be later. You know, like this. Like this is at some point in the sequence, sure. But I think first we should collect this maybe. robot first. It, it doesn't have to be, but that seems like a good idea. Like I think once again the bridges are are fake. That's the feeling that I get from this. But do we have enough arrows? It doesn't seem like we have a whole lot, in fact. Like, actually, let's, let's just assume assume this, this this is, like, sensible. And then can we go, like, down across the bridge? Oh, you mean start by going this way and then... Yeah. Let's, let's see how far we get. The problem is we can't put the switch. The we can't put anything on a switch. No, but we can go like in front of the robot, go right down and left. That seems a bit wasteful, but you know. Oh, but but then we can't go up on the switch. Never yeah. mind. Yeah. It would work otherwise. What if we go? Oh, right? actually. What? What were you gonna? Hmm. No, never mind. I don't what if we go works. right first? Everything is is across from each other, which is making things rather difficult. Yeah. And I just can't go across the bridge after hitting that switch. Unless I use a jump. What if? Oh, we only have one up arrow. Yes, we do. Wow, okay, so we're gonna start by going up then, I guess. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, if we go up and then right and then down and then right across the switch. Uh, but that doesn't work. That uses a lot of arrows. It seems like they really want us to use our jumps to go across. Maybe there is a way to do that. Aunt. 
Nope, not even close to enough arrows. What? What if we just go back up after the robot? Like instead of that left arrow, place an up arrow. Like this? Yeah. Oh. Can can we oh. like arrange the 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 upper st stuff so we collect both robots before going down? Basically. Like, uh, move the down arrow one space left. Right. And then place the left arrow across the robot. And then down and, and then right, we but then we don't arrows. have enough down. That's a shame. Feel like jumping first is the best move. Not enough arrows at all. We have a single up arrow, is the thing. chat are getting it, but yeah. I haven't quite figured it out yet. Well, let me ask you this then. Which way do we start? Do we go right or up first? And which robot do we grab first? That seems to be the major question here. I think we definitely go up first. Like, there's no way to not get that robot on the first go, because we have so few up arrows. Like, the, the question is rather, do we jump that corner in the top left, or do we go right and down and right? Yeah, that seems so wasteful, though. I mean, maybe just try it out and see yeah, if we get all right. somewhere right. the ball. Right, down, and right. Yeah. And then at the very bottom... But then we don't have enough up arrows to do the rest of this. Oh, wait, we can jump. I forgot. We can jump a switch. We can jump a switch. I don't know if that's useful. Yeah, this, I don't see, like, I, I don't see how any of this, this would work, because we, we have no way to collect those two robots at the top from yeah. this position. Because we need, we, we need two up arrows get those robots if we come from the south. And that's just not possible. No. I, I have to assume that this is the way to start this. It's yeah. Just, what do we do after? Wait a minute. Uh... No. No, that doesn't work. Let's see if we can make a circle around here, if do the right thing here. We still don't have that up arrow. We need that up arrow. Like, we need more than one up arrow to win this, is what's killing me. Hmm. Like, sure, oh. now, I, now I use my right or my whatever, and it's like, now what? <sighs> don't have enough arrows for that. Yeah. Chat, what do you think? Like, if we didn't use the two jumps at the start, that could work, but... 
I don't see how we don't use those. You gotta jump what? Once? Twice? Three times? Yeah, we tried to make this height loop on the two robots, but we couldn't figure it out. How about that? Oh, that's a good idea. Hold on. That, that, that works. Haha. -ha. Uh, place that jump again. Still leaves us... And then instead of like that up arrow, place a down arrow there. Like the space left of it. Uh, like, instead of that up arrow, place a down arrow where? Uh, to the left of the up arrow. And then place the down arrow. No, no, no. That that, that one was fine. Oh yeah. And then place the down air, the up arrow below the robot at the bottom, and then the right arrow on the top at the top. That yeah. Works. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. It looks like a mess, but that works. That's a tricky one. Switches, once again, are a distraction. <laughs> Have we used the Switch once? No, I don't think we've used the Switch once so far. Alright, let's take a quick bathroom break, and we'll be right back <laughs> with more Professor Layton. <laughs> 